What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can cancel your Perplexity subscription. You don't have to be paying for a uh, AI-powered search engine when you can use the open source tool for Farley, and you can set this up locally. It's 100% open source, 100% free. You can use it with local models. You can use it with uh, non-local models, such as Grok, OpenAI, um, whatever the case may be, we're going to show you how to set this up in under five minutes. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So for those of you who aren't new to the channel, um, you may know that we've covered multiple different open source um, perplexity alternatives. So yesterday we even covered local search, LL, uh, L local search. We've also covered um, some other ones such as Perplexica, Morphic, LLM, Answer Engine, a bunch of different ones. Um, we even covered, uh, there's a Stanford, uh, uni uh, Stanford University tool that's uh, similar to Perplexity as well. Covered a bunch. I'll leave links to a lot of those videos as well as tools and GitHub repos down below. So if you want to investigate and see which Perplexity alternative is the best bet for you or your specific use case or maybe you want to try all of them try different ones whatever the case may be you can do so down below as well as the repo for for farlay will be down below so um here is perplexity yeah i'm going to show you an alternative to it so here is for farlay um as you can see this is i believe the founder he posted on here hey all i built an open source ai powered engine called for farlay it's self-hostable front end next js back end fast api python a uh, search API can either be used through, with Tavily, um, or you can use uh, uh, search search engine X, whatever the heck it's called. Um, and I believe you can also use. There's a few other options. I'll get into that in just a second. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Here is the actual um, cloud version of it that you can go try right now without having to self-host it at all. And guess what, guys? It's 100% free to use. So I'll leave a link down below. I would definitely recommend testing this out before you even self host it. You can go here. Um, you can access the cloud models. So OpenAI GPT 3.5 turbo uh, GPT 4.0 powerful or um, hyper, which is Grok uh, Llama right here. Oh, this is uh, actually, yeah. Gr yeah. This is uh, Grok right here. So um, I literally have, I've seen this uh, Shad CN um, component before. But any, anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just test something like what happened to, uh, okay, so actually the cloud hosted one has disabled GPT-4.0, or 4.0, which kind of makes sense, you know, they're probably getting a high usage of that, so they're leaving the 3.5 one, this is 100% free, so that makes 100% sense, but you can see here, just even with the results, and I'm going to show you how to set this up, and we'll dive a little bit more into it on the self-hosted version, but it looks really good, really clean, sim very similar to Perplexity. You have new chat up here. Um, we have light mode, dark mode. It's actually a very nice design. I think the developer did actually a really good job. I was looking at the code. It's a well put together project. I mean, it, there can always be improvements, but um, based on like some of the other tools that we've done reviews on, I'd say this is definitely one of the best um, UIs. There. I'm one, I don't know 100% if it's the best, but it's it's definitely up there. That was my first impression on it. I really like the UI, the interface. I like the um, related things down here. I would suggest it. You can press, um, you know, toggle which one you want to go to next. All that good stuff. Um, there's also an expert mode, which is only available on the local host plan or on the self-hosted plan. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, so... First things first, of course, if you do want to use local models, you can go to a llama and download the models of your choice. Um, and yeah, you can use local models or you can use um, non-local models, like I said. So I'm not going to go through the whole GitHub repo. You can check it out if you want. Okay, here are the potential optional things that you can use the um, different that can connect to uh, for Farley. So we got Tavily, Serper, OpenAI, Bing, and Grok. And those are, yeah, those are the main ones. So it's actually very simple to um, get things uh, set up. So all you're going to do is you're going to literally just run these commands. So you're going to git clone the repo, right? So you would go into your command, uh, you know, 
command prompt and you would just go here boom i'm not going to run that i already did that and then you would cd into farfarlay and then copy um cp copy environment template and we're going to name that to environment uh just dot env all right and then from that point on you can modify the uh dot env and i'll show you that right here so this is the dot env so this is where you could you actually don't need to necessarily add in um environment variables if you're using the local models but if you're using um just cloud models you can add your api keys here boom 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 you can add you can go ahead customize different stuff here um as well as add a custom model and if you're using Tavily, Serper, or Bing, you would put that API key here. But it um, has a self-hosted version of Search and NG. Um, so yeah, you can actually just use that 100% for free. So let me go ahead. Actually, well, I already spun this up. But then you're just going to run Docker Compose dash F Docker Compose dash uh, dot uh, Docker Compose dot Dev dot YAML and then up dash D. Okay, so you just simply run this going to spin it up if you already have something on port 3000 then you would want to just change that in the uh, docker compose file you could just put like for me i put it to a different port because i'm currently using port 3000 so once you get it spun up this is what it's going to look like um so this is the self-hosted version on port 3040 and as you can see now i do have expert mode unlocked so this is kind of like perplexity's pro search okay and let me just go back here okay so we can go to cloud local here on local you see llama 3 jamma mistral 53 custom model you can go over here if you have the api of the clouds plugged in you can do um open ai uh gpt 3.5 turbo now we could do the gpt 4.0 so like if i did that same search like um uh here let's just do this what is for farlay well for farlay is like a pasta okay so this is really cool with the power expert mode this is doing the exact same thing that uh perplexity does like this is literally um the exact and it, the ui looks really nice i'll give them that like it looks really nice i mean it's pretty much just a clone of perplexity at the end of the day but that's kind of like what i would want so if i go here this is i have the pro version of perplexity as you can see it's literally doing the same thing Okay, so this is, let's see, a comparison. Okay, so here we got a little bit of, um, what do you call this? Like a, uh, I forget the word, but yeah, it's kind of like the Google thing that you have at the top, the knowledge panel. Yeah, we got like a little knowledge, knowledge graph right here, knowledge panel. Um, and then we got, you know, some stuff right here. This is using, I believe I'm using GPG-4.0 within Perplexity here. And then here... Um, we can see the different I really like this like this. This is actually really nice. Look at all the different um, Things we scraped or well it went through with uh, search engine X to the search now the answer is not as um, Long I guess as the Perplexity one. I mean that just length alone doesn't necessarily determine quality, but I mean it does look you know, I mean it looks pretty a little bit more in depth of an answer maybe on perplexity um but yeah i really like it it pulls the images too now i don't see it doesn't have a section for video which perplexity does and perplexity does have to generate images too and they also have other stuff like pages and whatnot so all in all i think this is like really one of the top notch perplexity alternative tools that i've covered so far um I don't know necessarily like, you know, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. So I definitely, if you are looking for an open source one, I recommend checking out the other videos down below. But um, all in all, like me personally, for me at least, Perplexity, it's all, like I don't mind paying 20 bucks or whatever. I'm already paying a bunch for all these other tools. So uh, for me personally, it's not like something that I'm going to cancel just because I like having all the different tools. As of now, um, I still get benefit from Perplexity. And it does have some of its own unique things, but I do like using these open source models as well and having them in my, my toolkit. And I know a lot of people like just only like using open source models or only like using local models. Um, basically just, you know, maybe for privacy, maybe just for whatever the case may be. 
Maybe they just don't like paying an extra 20 bucks a month. Maybe they just want to do some use it for free. So in that case, you can still get access to high quality AI using these models. So if you're new here, we upload videos every single day on topics like this, on open source, on AI, on business growth, um, how to grow a business. Also, you know, especially lately, a lot of videos on like coding and development. A lot of, I know a lot of you guys are working on projects and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. Um, if you're new here and you like this type of content, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I know I've done like five different complexity alternatives. If you tried any of them or if you tried all of them, let me know which one is your favorite. If you have any others to suggest to do a video on, may as well do them at this point because I've covered so many. May as well try to find out what the best perplexity alternative is. So if you know any, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, also too, guys, if you're new here and you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com. Link for that will be in the description down below, guys. Our free Facebook group, free Discord channel, um, where you can connect with myself as well as like-minded individuals in the whole AI, business, marketing, sales space. And yeah, we're trying to grow this community, trying to grow this channel. So other than that, guys, if you have any other ideas for future videos, let me know. And I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.